Hello, good morning everybody. Thank you for coming to join me today. Um, I just wanted to share with you my latest um, journals that I've been making. These are my design team project for Artie Mays um, using her Gothic kit. Um, this one is actually reserved, so I won't take you through that one. Um, but they are basically the same. Um, the same pages and everything used, different, different images, but they are basically the same layout. Um, the inspiration for this was Artie Mays bought this kit out last year and I felt it was outside my comfort zone to, to have a go at it. Um, but this year I thought, right, give it a go. Um, so I've tried to make it um, gothic, a uh, little bit medieval. So as I say, I've used Artie Mays' gothic kit and I'll link that for you below. Um, the other pages that I've used, I'll link everything below. Um, I've used some of Mrs. Cog's kits, um, images from her kit. So um, Edgar Allan Poe, The Beautiful Witches, and I think Henry Mayne or Ream. Um, I've used some tailor-made Halloween kits from Lorna tailor-made journals. And then Dot's Inspiration, um, I had her medieval background pages. And I've used a few of those in here because they just kind of went with it for that medieval gothic type theme that I wanted to go with. So hopefully, I'll link everything below anyway, but hopefully you'll like it. So the journal, it's about six inches wide and about eight and a half inches tall. Soft cover. Um, I hope you can see um, it's red fabric, but I've covered it in some black lace. And then there's black lace around the bottom as well. The image on the front there is from the kit um, and I've just put a little dangle on there which comes off, it's just a bulb pin so it, it can be removed if you wanted to. Um, tied together with some black lace, it is as you can see it is quite chunky, um, there it is from the top, so it is a chunky journal. A lot of the things can be removed so if it's too chunky for you then obviously you can take them out. Um, this bag is actually from Lorna at the Papered Soul, and I'll put a link to that below as well. And I've just made a little extra little journaling space there with some of the papers that I had left over. So that just goes in there, and there's a couple of extra journaling spaces in those pockets. And there's another one in the back just there. So that's just some extra journaling space. Um, the fabric on the inside is like a red and black fabric and then there's a black pocket there as well and then the beautiful kit look at that image isn't it lovely and then I I went black and red because I just felt that was right so hopefully you'll like it if I just move this over so that you can see this is a flip here so that's um that's a napkin that I've put over book page and then there's just tuck spots there and there and then there's a little journaling spot at the back as well Um, love this. Wouldn't that make fabric a beautiful fabric? So that's obviously from the kit as well. There's a little tuck spot in the back there. I think that background paper is the one from Dot's Inspiration and then that's one of the beautiful witches and it just went so well with the red rose. The coffee papers that I've got in here, um, I've done some inking with some red and some black ink and some black stamping as well just to try and give it that medieval feel lovely faded image there of the lady and it's very similar to what's on the front as well. One of the large journaling tags there and then um, I had a Edgar Allan Poe um, poem book that was falling apart so I've taken some of the verse out of there and then there's another journaling card there. Then this is one of the removable um, pieces of ephemera so that's made from um, an envelope so there's a pocket there at the front for that lady on there and then the back you can um, write on that if you wanted to and that's the same paper as that one but I've tea stained this one so the colour runs and then in the back there there's a little journaling card as well and then that just hangs over the page and as I say you can remove it if you wanted to and then this is one of Dot's papers from Dot's Inspiration. And as you can see, it was just gave it that medieval feel that I was looking for, some black lace. Um, some of the paper from Artie Mays there with the skulls on, and I've just done a corner pocket. 
and one of the journaling cards, or two journaling cards that come with the kit. Then this is um, an envelope that I've made out of some um, wrapping paper that I think it's wrapping paper that I had and it's kind of black lace wrapping paper which I thought went well. So I've made a little pocket here and I think that's one of Lorna's page papers there. So a little bit Halloween, a little bit gothic, a bit of a mix and then on the other side another journaling card there. It just pegs on there. Can't remember if I put anything in there. I don't think I did because the journal was getting so big. No, there's nothing in it. So you can put something in there if you want to. Um, this is one of the pages from the um, Edgar Allan Poe book that I had. So that's a dream within a dream. The This is a page and it's in the centre of the signature as well. So I've just um, used it as a tag. That's one of the tags as well. It just fits in there. It says potions and spells. So let's say there is lots of journaling space in it. Another of the book pages. And that's like the image on the front with beautiful roses. I've made a corner tuck here out of the lace that I've used. And then one of the Edgar Allan Poe poems there. And I've just used some of the papers that were with the kit there just to back it. The other side of um, the other journaling tag there and it goes through to the back as well. It's got bats on it. Love the black rose paper. Then one of the um, Andrea's kit comes with um, a printout for a, a, to cover a CD uh, wallet, a CD envelope. So I've put the image of the raven in there and some lace and some Tim Holtz cut out on there. And there's just a journaling card, and I think again that one's from Lorna. The square napkin there, and then one of the window envelopes. Um, this is one of Artie Mays's papers. It, it's not with this kit. I can't remember which kit it's from, but the the roses and the black edging I thought went well. And then there's the window there, through to the weeping angel. Some more lace. Then this is part of the um, the poem, the Raven. And um, as I say, the book was falling to pieces, so I only had part of the poem. So again, there's the napkin there. And then that just opens up. So you can still journal behind it. And again, these are from Dot's Inspiration. The, but you can write on these papers. They are pale enough. Then another image there of a... I don't know if it's fancy dress or if she is actually a vampire. I love the bat bro brooch on there. And then one of Artie Mazer's school papers. And then this page does actually just open out. So again, you can journal on there. And then one of the images and say, that's like the one on the front too. That just tucks up there. Never get these back in again. There we go. Then I've printed this one onto some tracing paper. And then this is um, an envelope that goes through the, the other side as well. Um, there's nothing in it, but there's plenty. You can put something in there if you wanted to. Again, I think that's one of the Dots Inspiration medieval papers. And then we have the centre of the signature here. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, the tie, it's just tied in a ribbon there, but if you wanted to put some beads on it, you could do. So it's just tied in a bow. Love the image of that lady there. And I've put some black lace down the middle as well. The back of that envelope. That says the raven. And the back of the um, tracing paper there. And that lady again, and I've done that as a tuck spot. So there's a journaling card just there. Some more black lace. And then another corn one a tuck just there and then that's one of the tags from the kit and then I think that's one of Mrs Cog's um, images but it's just perfect with the red and with the birds the ravens on I love this page as well with the like the lace effect in the back and the rose and then that's the back of the um, window envelope and then I've got a die cut that cuts this frame out so I've put one of the ladies one of the images behind it and then one of the verses from Edgar Allan Poe. 
There's a top tuck spot just there with an owl. It says Witcher's Dance, and I think that's from Lorna as well. And this black paper again, and then another tuck spot in there. And then again, black lace this time for a corner tuck. And another of the verses from Edgar Allan Poe, and another Tim Holtz die cut. Again, the roses in the back of the poems. These are two of the um, Andrea makes double uh, a row of three large tags. So I've kept those two together and lined them so that you can journal on them. And I've just attached it with a paper clip. So as I say, you can take it out, journal on it, and then put it back in. And it's opposite the potions page. And another of those skeleton there. Then this, um, these are the uh, cards that come with Andrea's kit, and it, this just hangs over the page. Um, so there's the lady on the front, and then on the back there's the gentleman, and then the on the inside the paper just flaps down on both sides. So there, there is plenty of journaling space on that, and then that just hangs over the page. Oops, there we go. There he is on the back. Lace belly band just there. And then there's a, this is one of the um, envelopes that comes with the kit. And I've put one of the images from Mrs. Cogs on there. And then that just flaps down and it has the extra, extra journaling space on it there. I'll tie that up in a little bit. I always get fingers and thumbs when I'm doing the video. Um, tuck spot there with some of the papers from Artie Mays and that little image there. And then a little tuck spot just there. And that's actually a tag, but I've cut the top off, top off it because I just I wanted to use that lady there. That's some tattoo she's got. It's just it's gorgeous. Love that image. And that just tucks into there. And then the last page, um, this is um uh, what do you call them? Envelopes. That's what you call them. So I've put some, I think that's part of um, Rachel Roxy's Creations vintage papers. Um, and as I say, I wanted it to have that gothic feel. So I've um, put, cut that tag there. There's a little card inside there. I think that's from Taylor Made. I love that little lady, little girl being a witch. Lined the um, envelope just to give it that bit extra strength. And then it's got Artie Mazer's um, skull papers just there and then a little tuck spot there it goes in there and that just closes nicely there and then in the back there's that raven again then on the back page there's another envelope there there's nothing that is just an envelope it's been lined with an image on there and then just some extra journaling space here so you can journal on the back there's a little pocket there I think that paper's one of Artie Mays' freebies. And then that just opens up for some extra journaling space just there. And it just goes in there. Excuse my arm. So that is my, um, my Gothic journal. Um, I do hope you like it. Um, it will be listed in my Etsy store later today. Um, any comments, I'm always happy to answer and reply to you. And I would like to thank you very much for your ongoing support and for watching. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.